Today we're starting out with a few of those one-step equations where we uh, multiply or divide to solve it. So if you look over this list, I already put up there what the first step was on this uh, next slide here. So in the first one, we're going to divide by 4. Number 2, we're going to divide by 2. Number 3, divide by negative 7. Number 4, we're going to multiply by 5. Number 5, we're going to multiply by 7. And number six, of course, we're going to multiply by negative eight. When we do that on our bell work today, we end up with these following answers. So these are pretty straightforward, pretty simple problems. Hopefully you've got those down. If not, let us know so we can do some more practice. Today we're moving on to solving two-step equations. Uh, and so the trick is we've got to isolate the variable. And the first step is to undo the add or subtract from both sides. Then the second step is to undo the multiply or divide from both sides. And so we kind of do the order of operations in reverse order. So let's get into a couple of these problems and see how they work. So here's our first problem, 3x minus 10 equals 14. So our first step is going to be add 10 to both sides like this. Got to remember our big barrier there, our Great Wall of China. So these will cancel out, leaving us with this 3x equals 24. And when we divide both sides now by 3 for our second step, we end up with x equals 8. So there's those two quick steps that we need to do to solve these problems. Let's try another one. On this particular problem, we're going to start out by subtracting 24 from both sides. So let's do that. Subtract 24. Uh, this one cancels out, leaving us with this 5x equals a negative 36 minus 24 is equal to negative 60. When we divide both sides by 5, which is our next step, we end up with x equals negative 12. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I kind of like where this is going so far. Let's try uh, yet another problem. So on this one, we've got 3x plus 2 equals 17. So our first step is going to be to subtract 2 from both sides. And 17 minus 2 is 15. And all of that equals 3x. So when you do that, we end up with dividing by th both sides by 3. And we our final answer is x equals 5. All right, let's keep moving. Keep moving to a few more examples. Oh, here's one of those uh, where we got kind of an interesting setup in front of the variable where there's nothing there. Well, when there's nothing there except a minus sign, we always know that there's just an Im imaginary one that's going to be there so that we don't lose place of what's going on. So on this one, we're going to start out by subtracting 8 from both sides. So we end up with negative 1x equals 12 minus 8, which is 4. And when we divide both sides by that negative 1, that gives us x equals negative 4. So there's our answer on that one. All right, here's another one. We're going to start out by adding 5 to both sides. So we end up with, on our, after our first step is taken care of, we end up with negative x equals 16. And a reminder then, this negative sign out in front means that we have a negative 1x, so that when we divide by negative 1, we end up with our final answer of x equals negative 16. Okay, keep them going.
Here we've got x over 3 minus 2 equals negative 4. So let's add 2 to both sides. When we do that, we end up with uh, these canceling out, and negative 4 plus 2 equals negative 2, and we still have x over 3 on the left side. So we multiply that both sides now by 3, and we end up with x equals negative 6. All right. Okay, we got negative 5 plus r over 4 equals negative 3. Let's add 5 to both sides. And so we're left with r over 4 equals negative 3 plus 5 is 2. And now we're going to multiply both sides by 4. So our final answer is going to be r equals 2 times 4, which is 8. Excellent. All right, now we've got a couple of questions. What if uh, instead of integers we have fractions? Well, that's not a big deal. We, we know how to add and subtract fractions. So in this case, we're actually going to subtract one half from both sides, subtract one half from both sides, as you see there. So after we do that, we're going to be left with negative 2m equals negative 4 and 1 half. So then our next step is going to be divide both sides by negative 2. And when we do that, we end up with m equals negative 2, or excuse me, positive 2 and 1 fourth. That'll be our answer on that one. And one last question. Negative 0.3x plus 1 equals 2.56. So let's subtract 1 from both sides. And then we're left with negative 0.3x equals 1.56. Uh, excuse me, 1.56. So now let's divide both sides by negative 0 0.3. Negative 0 0.3. All right, so this side, on the left side, they cancel each other out leaving us with just x equals, and here we have 1.56 divided by 0.3. I'm going to have to grab a calculator on that one. So I get me a calculator, get it out to the side here. I have 1.56 divided by um, 0.3 equals, and I know that, that this is a a negative uh, 0.3, so that's going to make our total answer negative. So our final answer is going to be negative 5.2. All right, so if there's no further questions, that's our answer. And you're ready to do the assignment. So it's a two-step equation assignment on Alex. Thank you very much.